Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 31 of Book 6. Now in this proposition, we start with a right angle triangle, and we draw three similar figures on the three sides of this right angle triangle. They don't have to be rectangles, they can be similar figures of any kind, but they must be what is described as similarly situated so that if this is the long side of a rectangle, then this is also the long side, or if this is some weird shape, that they are drawn in the same pattern, so the same side with the same angles, etc. So this proposition states that the area of this polygon plus the area of this polygon is equal to the area of that polygon. So in other words, it's a more generalized Pythagoras' theorem. If these were all squares, we would have the sum of the squares on the sides will be equal to the sum on the hypotenuse, but it can be generalized to any figure as long as the figures are similar. Similar. So, how do we go about proving this? Well, first let's start with our basic right angle triangle, and the right angle is at the point A, and we draw a line from A to D such that it is perpendicular to BC. Now, according to Proposition 8 of this book, if we have a right angle triangle divided in such a way that from the apex, from this right angle, we draw a line perpendicular, we have the three triangles, ABC, ABD, and ADC, are all similar. Again, that's Proposition 8 of this book. Now, if these triangles are similar to each other, then by definition, the sides, the ratios of the sides are equal. So BC to AB, so that's this whole, the big triangle, so the side, the longest side, BC, to the shortest side, AB, is going to be equal to, and now let's look at this triangle here, the dark yellow one, Again, the longest side, AB, to the shorter side, BD. So we have <clears throat> this relationship that BC to AB is equal to AB to BD. So we have BC to AB is equal to AB to BD. And again, from Proposition 19 of this book, that means that the ratio of BC to BD will be equal to the area of two similar figures drawn on the lines BC and AB. So in other words, the ratio of BC to BD, so BC to BD, will be equal to the ratio of the area A1 to A2. And now let's look at the two triangles, the larger one, ABC, and the smaller one, ADC. Again, we start with the longest side, BC. Okay compare it to the second longest side, AC. So we have BC to AC. And we're going to, that will be equal to, again, we're going to look at this triangle here, ADC. So we take the longest side, AC, and compare it to the second longest side, DC. So we have that BC is to AC. So BC is to AC, as AC is to DC. So now we have this relationship. So again, if we look at the ratio of BC to CD, that will be equal to the area of two similar figures, the ratio of the area of two similar figures drawn on BC and AC. So in other words, BC to CD is equal to the ratio of A1 to A3. So now we have BC to BD equals A1 to A2, BC to CD, equals A1 to A3. So we can add these two together using Proposition 24, Book 5. And we have that BC to the sum of these two is equal to A1 compared to the sum of these two. But BD to CD, BD to CD is just equal to BC. So we have that the ratio of BC to itself, which is equal to 1, is equal to the ratio of A1 to the sum of A1 plus A2. 
which basically gets us if this ratio is equal to 1, that means that a1 is equal to a2 plus a3, where a is the area of these similar polygons. And thus we have just demonstrated this proposition, which I think could be defined as a more generic Pythagoras' theorem.